In newer versions of AutoCAD, you have this lovely new command, just literally called the Dimension command. And the actual command, if you just type DIM, D-I-M, and enter, there's the command there. And obviously the dynamic input is prompting me now to select the objects I want to dimension. I'll just hit Escape there just to deselect. Now, the Dimension command, or the DIM command, is available on the Home tab on the ribbon, right here in the Annotation panel. There it is there, the Dimension command. And as you can see, it's called the DIM command. I can also get to it via the Annotate tab on the ribbon, and it's just here. There's the DIM command there as well. What it allows you to do is it allows you just to hover over an object. AutoCAD recognizes that object and applies the appropriate dimension type. So you'll notice we're still in the 04 underscore dimensioning dot DWG drawing, which hopefully you've been using and following along and saving in this particular chapter of the course. Now I'm going to use the dimension command, the dim command, just to place a couple of linear dimensions. Then I'm going to draw a circle and use the same dim command to put a radius on that particular circle as well. So I'm on the dims layer here in the dims override. So I'll make sure that that's there. I'll go back to the home tab and in the layers panel here, I'm going to change this layer, the current drafting layer, to the objects layer. So it doesn't matter now. If I go back to the annotate tab, I'm always going to use the dims layer for my dimensions. So let's use this dim command. Go up here to dimension in the dimensions panel and the annotate tab on the ribbon. And I come into the drawing area. Now all I've got to do is hover around. And can you see, look, a little pick box appears, and I can pick on a line, like so. And I don't even have to tell it that it's a linear dimension. I just click on that line, drag the dimension out to where I want it to go, click again. Just two clicks like that. And it's given me a linear dimension because it knows that that's a line. So I know that I'm on the objects layer as the current drafting layer. I'm going to jump back to the home tab now and just draw a circle, center radius like that, just here freehand on the left. Click for the center, drag for the radius, and click like that. I don't know what the radius is, don't know what the diameter is. But if I go back up now to the annotation panel here and click on dimension, if I hover over that, it automatically goes to diameter. Can you see that? So I can click there, and if I come inside, the diameter can go inside or outside. I click, drag, place. Now, I can also stay in the dim command, right click, and I can come down here, look, I've got angular, baseline, continue, ordinate, and so on. Now, the whole idea is, is that it just picks the particular dimension style that you want to use. You'll notice there's no radius there. I can't change from diameter. So what I do here is I just hit escape, like so, and cancel that command. If I go back to dimension again, and just hover here like so, and come in, does it give me any other options? As you can see, all I can get is diameter. But if I look down there, if I right click now, can you see on the command line? I can now go radius. Look at that, it changes it for me. Now it recognizes that it's a radius now. It's a really, really clever little command. And it allows you to dimension accurately because obviously everything is picked off of the object like so. So there's my radius, like that. Hit escape just to cancel the command, job done. So I can do a diameter and a radius also off of that dim command, the dimension command, allowing me to dimension accurately and also annotate effectively in my AutoCAD drawings.